going on from Jimmy, um, the main issue he's not higher in this list is that the other two players are legitimate top five players in the league. Um, the other two players that we're talking about here are very, very, very talented. Um, and NBA champions, NBA finals MVPs. Uh, at number two, we have a former Raptor again. Woo! Raptors making appearances tonight. But Kawhi Leonard is at number two here. If it wasn't for that meltdown in the playoffs that the Clippers did, which it wasn't really Kawhi's fault. Kawhi still had a fairly good playoff. But if it wasn't for that meltdown that happened to the, to that Clippers team and they would have went against L.A., this could be a different conversation. Yeah, I mean, personally, I wouldn't say it's a different conversation because the things I, LeBron James have done over his career. What I agree career-wise, but I mean going into next year, yeah. um, if, if the Clippers were able, would have beaten the Lakers and if it would have been something like Clippers beating them in five or Clippers beating them in six – and Kawhi having a 37-6 and six time while defending LeBron into his worst playoff time. Because let's be honest, they haven't really put, faced each other in the playoffs yeah, very they, often. They went head-to-head. They head. did, in San Antonio, a long time ago. Kawhi Leonard was not the player he is today. If they would have came against each other, I'm not saying I'm, I'm still a way bigger LeBron James fan than I ever was any kind of Kawhi fan. But I'm saying if they would have came against each other and the Clippers would have had a really good showing where they, they beat L.A. and they showed that L.A. is not as dominant as we believe they are. Turns out they are. But I'm just saying in that hypothetical world, yeah, I could potentially be putting Kawhi over him. But that's not the world we live in. No, and I feel like a lot of people would. I mean, even after, before he even won with the Raptors, when they were just on their way there, there was people talking about he was the best basketball player in the world. And I'm sure there's still people who feel that way just based on personal opinion. Um, but yeah, I mean, year after year, Kawhi Leonard, like we said um, in a previous video about Ben Simmons, is San Antonio didn't have, isn't going to have another MVP caliber player. Kawhi Leonard is an MVP caliber player on any given year. Yes, I know he might not win it because he's kind of a guy who I feel like is going to finish fourth or fifth every year. But Every year. Yeah, but could it happen on a, any given year? Absolutely. He's obviously the best defender, not just at the position, but in the NBA, even though in the NBA. even though guys like Gobert won two in a row, Giannis. I would still think Kawhi is the best defender any day. I mean, the hands on that guy, it's called the claw for a reason. Um, I take Kawhi over Draymond any day of the week over any of those players. He's on a different level. Yeah, I mean, the first and steal is a small forward, obviously. It's not even... <laughs> not a big surprise. And I feel like it's just year after year, um, positioning, uh, rebounds, he just grabs them every time they come off. I feel like seven and a half per year, 27 points per game. And that's a guy who I feel like we always forget how offensively gifted he is, too. He looks like kind of slow on the offensive end, but then the second he moves... It's like, we're oh, gonna, you're, you're gone. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like the Milwaukee drive dunk that he had on Giannis to in that game six or game seven that really put the Raptors over. It didn't feel like it was going to happen. Then he took off and it was like, dude, where did that come from? Like, you look like LeBron James soaring through the air there. And I just, no one, I felt like knew Kawhi had those elements into him. And then when it comes down to it, he really does. He's a game changer. He's a game seven changer. He's a clutch. He's a superstar. He's a franchise guy. He's just not better than LeBron yet. And he, but he may eventually he yeah. might he might he but he's probably never going to be considered the top shooter in the game. But he being that he's the best defender, he doesn't need to be. Um, with that being said, and you're, you're you're sitting there talking about how quick he is off the drive. His the speed that he can take a turnaround jumper, his mid range game, I'd put it in top five in the league. Um, it's funny how we, we keep talking about these guys that have great mid range between like him and DeMar DeRozan. The, those are, I put them in the top, both of them in the top five in the, in the mid range, potentially even both of them in the top three in the whole league, maybe up there with CJ McCollum. It's funny how those two guys, though, um, Kawhi and DeMar, they modeled their game after a certain player from the LA Lakers. Um, they modeled their game very similar to a Kobe Bryant. If you look at their turnaround jumpers, and and those fadeaways that they put together, and to me, it's very reminiscent of a young Kobe Bryant. So I, I I think of Kawhi, and again, I think of I speak very highly of Kawhi. I am a Raptors fan. I watched that shot. That's the most expensive picture I have in my whole house. <laughs> it's a four hundred dollar Kawhi Leonard picture of him standing on the side waiting for that ball to bounce off that rim. 
yes, I have a very poor house. <laughs> um, but that, that's my most prized possession. And Kawhi will always hold a place in our hearts as Raptors fans for what he did in that run with us last year. But he, no matter what team he's on, he will be a top two player at this position for the rest of his career. Yeah, I mean, it, it, again, like we just see glimpses of it too, where in January, this guy put up 32 points per game over 10 games, where it's on, like I said, any given element, he's, he's in there with the best of them. Um, we often forget to, um, like, it's ironic to me that we forget how few minutes per game he plays in, in comparison to some of these guys. Like coming out of the gates last year, he only had 29 minutes per game, but he had 28 points per game. Like they don't need to play Kawhi Leonard 48 minutes per game because the production you get from him through 32 minutes per game is just as good as you get it for no. guys for 35 or 36. And with that being said too, they only play him 36 when they're losing. Like if you look at the his stats and losses, he had I believe about four minutes more per game, and that's clearly because they're like we're down, we're gonna put you out there because we need to. But typically how it works is this guy's so good for you, he puts you up to a point where you could rest him for during the hardest parts of the game. And you don't have to worry about him getting injured throughout the year, even though we know he did have... So a- similar to, to Giannis in that way, right? Yeah. Just he's always putting up points, no matter what. Every minute he's on the court, he's productive. He's demanding that ball. He is the star. He is the MVP. And I, like you say, I don't, I don't even know if there's a year where he wins MVP, which is a shame. Yep. But there's definitely going to be a year where he wins Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah, and it's just like you said, too, the shot. I mean, it means so much to Raptors fans. It's the fact that it was another corner three when Vince Carter, in the year with Philadelphia, misses the corner three. Couldn't hit it. He couldn't hit it. And Vince Carter, I mean, if we're comparing apples to apples in terms of, again, a guy who is a true superstar and a guy who was a great all-star, Vince Carter was a great all-star. Kawhi Leonard is just a pure franchise guy. Superstar. He is the guy that if you're starting tomorrow and you're going, uh, I, I have a top three pick and have a fantasy draft, he's in there. Yeah, versus Vince Carter, if you're like 27th and like then maybe he's like available and you're like, I got I got a good Vince Carter, I'll take him. But yeah, he he was well, never at the level that Kawhi was. was top, Vince Carter was top 20, Kawhi Leonard's top three. Yeah, exactly, which is the huge difference between a guy who was 25 points per game and whatever he was. Yeah, to... they, had, they had very similar points per game if you're looking at that. Yeah. And just... The other aspects that he brings. Yep. It's just uncanny. He truly has an uncanny ability on the defensive end and in the clutch, too, like we've said. I mean, two, def- or two NBA final MVPs. And, I mean, in the last, what is it, let's say the last decade, in the last 20 years, we look at the other players who have two finals MVPs. Who is it? Kevin Durant, I believe, has two, or does he only have one? He has two. He has two. Back to back in Golden State. LeBron James has two, correct? Oh, putting me on the spot. No, he has more. At, at least two, I mean. Yeah, 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 he has three. And Kobe Bryant has two. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're putting him in a category and the only other guys are Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and Kevin Durant, I mean, that's just unheard of in terms of the last 20 years. Kawhi Leonard, not just for this list, is top two. If we go last 20 years, we'd have to break it down, but he's probably going to be in our top 10 if we ever did, at least very close. Oh, he definitely will. And he'll, he'll, he'll come out of this as one of the best defensive players to ever play. He'll come out of this as a consistent star, consistent all-star. He'll First- be an all-NBA player for many, many years. He'll be a he'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer, hands down. Especially with the title, Why? especially with the Toronto. Like, yeah, the Toronto one solidifies it forever. Absolutely, like first ballot without a doubt. Like even without that, though, he was still that good of a player. And San Antonio, he won them. So yeah, like um, that. Whenever he won the first one, he was young. Yep. He was not exactly the the player he was today. He wasn't anywhere close to the player he was today. But we look back on that team. And if you're talking about the 2013 Spurs, I'm, what, what do you automatically think of? You automatically think of Tim Duncan, mm-hmm. Manu Ginobili, and Tony Parker. Do you think about Kawhi Leonard? No. But who was the most important piece against in that run to the, to the championship that year? Kawhi Leonard, defending LeBron James. Kawhi Leonard was a young punk at the time, averaging between 12 and 15 points per game. He had nothing. 
he essentially was OG and Anobi. That's what he was. And he still won finals MVP. That yeah. put him on a different planet to where the player we thought he was going to be. And it really is skyrocketed him into stardom. And he's shown the last couple of years that he is that star player. He's worthy of that star player. I would have given my left nut for him to stay in Toronto. Don't worry, I got some frozen ones around there. Um, but uh, I wish he was here. No matter where he is, he's still going to be a star player. No matter where he is, that team's going to be in contention. No matter who's around him. So wait, to confirm, Kawhi Leonard won the which MVP for the finals? Was it 2013? No, because no, LeBron James won the 2013 one. So Kawhi... 2014. 2014, he won the finals MVP? Yeah, 2013-2014. So he, he that year, he averaged 12.8 points per game. And what was his... 12.8 points. And what were his final stats? His finals and his final stats, okay. I'll pull this up real quick, just because I know we all we all so, love talking so, about Kawhi Leonard. So he still actually only averaged 18 per game, but it was on 61.2% shooting, and it was really the defense. He had 1.6 steals and 1.2 blocks. But again, just think of a guy who averaged under 20 per game, winning an NBA, NBA Finals MVP. There was Iggy and there was Kawhi, and that's the only two I can remember off the top. And both times is the only because they guarded LeBron James. Yeah. Kawhi is the best. LeBron James defender in this league. It's not close. Absolutely. And with that, though, the best LeBron James well, defender is the unfortunately. Best... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing, right? He doesn't, he doesn't bring as much. Kawhi Leonard doesn't bring as, mu as many other factors as someone as LeBron James brings. 